question proper. What's your role in Parliament? So that you can move, uh, so that I can move on your role in Parliament. I, 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 will, I will humbly request. I understand. No, I want to ask a question, so it will be determined by his role in Parliament. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I am. A, I am a. I, I did say I am a creature of statute, so I abide by instruction. Okay. Just the Oh. Okay. Uh, thank you, my brother. Let me first uh, explain to you. I'm an advocate by profession. Okay. I'm a consultant in Parliament. I'm the national chairperson of the National Bank Council of South Africa. Now, the National Bank Council of South Africa accepts both practicing and unpracticing advocates. We don't exclude them. Okay. Now, so to cut the story short, I'm a legal consultant in the National Council of Provinces. I think I've answered your question. Thank you very much. Uh, because uh, I was of the view that uh, you are a legal advisor, but you are a consultant on the other wing of the of parliament because there are two wings. Mm -hmm. I have a problem, therefore, because uh, you are raising an issue that uh, we brief white males. Parliament itself briefs white males every day. And the black legal minds are defeating you every now and then. <laughs> Tembega being one of them and Dali. Mm -hmm. And you perpetually brief the white men, representing the same ad that you want to sell to us. Now, already before that ad can even, we can even think of it working, it has failed. Because those who are championing it are not leaving what is in there. Now, you are saying that we have borrowed the Roman Dutch, we didn't borrow that thing, it was imposed on us as black people. Roman Dutch common law as black people, here at that as we speak, all these legal minds here are not taught customary law. Yes. Yeah. We are producing lawyers. What type of lawyers is that producing? That's what the act must be questioning. The same institution that you are is very racist to the core. Vets produce lawyers for the top big five law firms. Vets produce researchers, not lawyers. All these people are fighting to go to Notting Road to research for the white maids. All these people are fighting to go to Weber and Zell to research. After two years, they are retrenched without even going to practice. It's the curriculum itself. When you want to speak about transformation, we can't start there. We have to start in the institutions itself. What are the institutions producing? Some of us, when you come here, you begin to question the law. Yeah. You will fail perpetually. Because the lecturers, the lecturers don't want thinkers. They want people who will look at this thing, take it back as it is. <laughs> When you go out there, the judge was talking about activism. He says that there must be activism. When we were young, lawyers were leading activism. Today we have coconuts as lawyers. Yeah. <laughs> lawyers everywhere, presidents were lawyers. Yes. In all over the big countries. In South Africa, it ended with Mandela. He never became a lawyer. He was a law student. Anyway. <laughs> now, I am saying the problem is here, where we are. What are the universities producing? And who are they producing? Who controls the curricula? She was complaining that now, Adams and Adams, they only accept students who come from the upper date African universities yes. only. Yes. And nobody sees anything wrong with that. Mm. The Jewish law firms concentrate on vets and UCT. Yes. And nobody sees anything from there. When you fail to 
enter the top big five, you can't make it in those black small and yellow low firms in the township because VETS has not equipped you for that. Now, on the... Uh, let me finish. <laughs> I, I agree with you when you say the problem is the system. It is the system that is failing us. It is the ANC government that is failing us. It is the government that adopted a failed and cruel system. And they never changed it. Because those who have to change it, like the judges, they are running away from getting their hands. They, they hide behind the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Who wrote the Bill of Rights? When we consulted as black people, our parents, who were slaughtered in Cape Town, when our people went there to tell them that you can abort as the 12 year old, where our people are, are approached for that. But when you go to KZN, you are telling us that when our sisters go to Umshanga, it's, it's ungodly. You can't kill a cow, but you can abort as a 12-year-old. That's the Bill of Rights that was taken from Canada and America everywhere there to impose and kill our culture and tradition as black people. As black people, as we are here, ours is to mimic whiteness. The assimilation is almost complete because of the system. And all of you are protecting the system. All of you are but assimilation of whiteness. All of us as we are here, we want to assimilate whiteness. None of us want to transform. When we were fighting FISMA's fraud, the same judges are prosecuting us, but he is saying he was... Bua! Bua! Hey! Bua! He is saying that. We, the masses here, must be active and push them so that they prosecute us. Yes. <laughs> I question to him, when did he start being a judge? Yes. If he was a judge that side of apartheid, then he doesn't qualify to speak to us because he's been prosecuting black people and sending them to Robin Island as a black judge during 1960, 70 and 80. We'll start speaking to black people who became judges from 95 moving forward. Thank you very much. Wow. Hey. Okay, let's, let's, um, okay, let's, uh, 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 okay, let's, u